8 o'clock in the morning and I'm about to go for a quick run with my dear friend Corrado. There's a lot of echo in here. Ah! Ah! Never mind. Looking for Cora. Is that that one there? No. No signs of Corrado so far. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao Bruno. Allora, allora, Stefano. Hey, Corrado, my friend. We've been now in the middle of our run. What have we done? Maybe four miles, three miles or something. And we are back to where we started. Hi. And we're back. Uh, that was uh, 5 miles 20, that was a good one, Cora. Yes, and a good one. Simone. 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 We've been up the hills to San Domenico, which is a little town between uh, Florence and Fiesole, another village up the hills. It was great. Lots well, of wonderful. climbing. Uh, a, little, a, little, a, little, a little, a little bit, little. a little bit, yes. Bye bye. See bye, Corino. Oh. See you soon. Ciao, Hora. Ciao. Ciao. Let's go right on and now we are running towards home. I want to show you one of my favorite shops here in Florence. It's a Mesticheria Casalinghi Mazzanti. A Mesticheria is a place where you can buy a lot of stuff. Very useful, mainly around the house. That's the shop, look. <coughs> Coffee machines, light stuff, trolleys for shopping, mechanical stuff. There's so much stuff in here. Pots and pans, cake making devices, safe, knives, terracotta pots, very Florentine, lots of wood, olive tree wooden chopping boards. Pots. My mum. This is for the olive oil. 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 In fact, the whole of this is for olive oil. If you ask the guys who run the place about anything, they'll be able to pinpoint that object in the shop with quite a surprising precision. I'm going to show you another dirty secret of Florence. Tripes and Lampredotto panini. Delicious sandwich coming from Lampredotto, which is a part of the stomach of the cow. I personally love it. Saturday morning in a small square of Sant'Ambrogio, lots of people, a bit of music in the background, and Florence is chasing pigeons. And Leo too. This is Giardino D'Azeglio. One of the interesting things about the Florentine dialect is that people in Florence don't pronounce a hard sounding C when it's followed and preceded by a vowel. For instance, the word casa, which in English translates into house, is pronounced casa. However, if you were to put the article in front of it, which in Italian is la, English the, it would sound la casa. You could take this even further. If you think about the word Coke, which in Italian is Coca-Cola, if you were to put an article in front of it, like a, 
which in Italian is una, it would sound like una hoja hola. You could push this to an extreme with the sentence a hot coke with a very short straw. And in Florentine would sound like una hoja hola halda con la nucha horta. We've come here in the middle of the Tuscan hills to see my friend Gianfranco and uh, the intention is to spend the afternoon with him, Laura and his friends and also go out and try to look for fresh wild asparagus which are now in season. Florence as usual leading everyone into madness. <laughs> We got to the place where the asparagus are. The hunt is definitely on. Oh. <laughs> Look at John Franco. You take We are here in Villa Magna with uh, Gianfranco. Gianfranco and I have been friends since, uh, yeah, yeah. since Nin high school. 1920, I guess. The so. 1920s, yes, <laughs> pretty much. Caro Gianfra, what can you do with the wild asparagus? You can uh, prepare a lot of uh, dishes. recipes. Recipes, dishes. yeah. Which one is your favorite? My favorite dish is uh, spaghetti con l'asparago. And how does, it, how does it work? You have to prepare uh, onion. Yes. You have to cut the onion very thin, very thin. It's better. It's uh, very important. Then uh, you try. You you have to get uh, olive oil. You put uh, in the oil the onions, uh, and then uh, you put uh, the asparagus. You have to cut the asparagus in order to get uh, uh, just uh, the part of the asparagus that is uh, edible. Yeah. Exactly. And then uh, that's, that's it. Very, that's very simple, simple, but very tasty. But very good. Thank you very much, John. There's been a change of plan in the recipe. In the recipe there. Yes, I was that I was it's wrong. not the very thinly sliced uh, onion that you have to put in the spaghetti recipe. Yeah, but I apologize, I was wrong. What you need is garlic. Garlic. You have to take garlic, very fresh garlic. Very fresh. You have to cut the garlic in very thin slices. Yes. And then you put finally the, the asparagus. Yes, sir. And what about the cheese? I don't like to put the cheese. Why? 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 This is the question. Why? Why? Because uh, the cheese, uh, the, the taste of the cheese is very strong. I understand. What about the frittatina with asparagus? Oh, <laughs> the, there is a person that is a very expert of. Uh, Who is the frittatina? Who is the expert? This is uh, Sanissimo. This. Sanissimo. Si trita gli asparagi, poi si sbatte l'uovo. E poi si mette in padella con un gocciolino appena di olio. Olio extravergine? O... Olio sempre, sempre extravergine. Sempre. È obbligatorio <ride> l'extravergine. C'è un altro tipo di olio? Oltre extravergine? <ride> no, fammi capire. No, scusa. Se no c'è l'olio motore, va bene mo qua. <ride> Grazie mille Fabio. Il vero nome è Fabio, non è sanissimo. <ride> This is Tuscan countryside at its best, look. It's time to head back now and Gianfranco has a plan. Fonti certe mi dicono che c'è una stradina che costeggia le case e arriva proprio dalla strada di San Romolo dove c'è un panorama mozzafiato di Firenze. Bellissimo. I don't like the sound of this. <laughs> Look at this beautiful house, look at the window they have. So they can enjoy a fantastic sunset every night. Bang on from to the city of Florence. Fantastic.
Jafra, we doubted you, but uh, it was good. I was right. We were able to, to finally arrive here in order to arrive at home. With a shortcut. Yeah.